Today I'm taking a look at a power charging station essentially and you can see it's got a unique shape to it so it's got a 40 watt total output for power and it claims 85 percent efficiency um, you have three ports which are IQ ports ba basically designed to give the uh, most available power whatever device connected requests so that's nice and then you have a QC2 port uh, for devices that support that technology there is rubber type feet very soft on the bottom keeps it from sliding there's also a rubber piece here so in the event that you want to set that up you know either way you can do so the power cord included has about 45 inches from here to the barrel connector on the end when it is connected it is very very solid I mean it's not gonna fall out no no doubt um, you do have a white indicator light here with 45 inches it does give you plenty of room to work with however the um, receptacle um, these blades they don't have the hole in them so they don't grab very well so it stays in the wall but not as good as it could uh, because it's a cheaper type setup of course you have these little pieces here I don't really care for them personally they seem kind of pointless to me um, and the reason I say that is look how narrow that gap is I mean my phone in the case is definitely not gonna fit it and unless you have a really super thin phone I don't see it being uh, very useful so I'm gonna take those back out and set this to the side your instruction manual here outlines some of the specifics of the actual unit the retractable cable is right at 18 inches at fully uh, ex extended and with this little curvature here if you were to plug in a USB cable to one of the ports you could actually run this underneath and kind of have that grab the cable and then plug into your device which so that's pretty cool if you're doing uh, you know, your own cable and not using this if you're using this it's gonna be kind of hit and miss on how well it works for you because of the design now with my phone especially in the OtterBox case it can be a bit of a challenge so what ends up happening is it smashes the cable over to the side so that could potentially cause that cable to break pretty quickly but it does make a very secure connection so once it's in there it's definitely in there so that's nice and that retraction aspect is pretty nice with this thing so um, plugged in the white indicator light here so not so bad um, overall I mean it's a pretty cool little design little shape somewhat unique it does hold the phone well even in the case which is cool and it can support larger devices because it's a pretty wide area so not a whole lot that I have to say about the unit just uh, kind of a quick introduction take a look at it, it seems to work fine hopefully it continues to work um, there isn't a whole lot of information on the output that's one thing um, that I wanted to mention uh, it just says uh, IQ intelligent interfaces and it doesn't exactly say uh, 2.4 output or what have you so and this is of course in dual language so Chinese on one side and English on the other but uh, overall it does look and feel nice I mean it'd be nice sitting beside of a, a Mac because it has that silver uh, aluminum look to it so it's not a whole lot else I could say that I think would really be all that helpful about this unit uh, honestly so that's pretty much it I just wanted to show you that real quick um, 
I don't know, if you want to see more, just, I guess, check out the uh, link below the video. Take you to the Amazon listing, and you can see more specific information. Um, okay, that's pretty much it. So, thanks.